Hello, you are welcome. How to solve for x in this nice exponential equation? And what we have here, applying the law of indices, e raised to power n, raised to power n, the same thing as e raised to power m, it is also e raised to power n, then e raised to power m. And also from here, when we have e raised to power n plus m, this is also e raised to power m times a raised to power n. That is from what we have here, this will be written as 3 raised to power x, then raised to power 3 from here, then minus. Here we have 2 raised to power x times 3 raised to power 1 equals to 18 on this side. Then from here, we have 3 raised to power x common so we can say let the letter let y be equals to a raised to power x that is here this becomes y raised to power 3 minus y times 3 that's 3y three then equals to 18 on this side then from here let's bring in thing here then we have y raised to power 3 minus 3y three then minus 18 equals to 0 from here and here we can write minus 3 y as 6 y minus 9 y so here that means here becomes y raised to power 3 plus 6 y minus 9 y minus 18 equals to 0 from here and in the same way, let's rearrange and write y cube minus 9y plus 6y minus 18 equals to 0 from here. Then, from these two terms, we have y common. And here, we are left with y square minus 9. Close bracket plus here, we have 6 common. We are left with y minus 3, which is equal to 0 on this side. That is, here we can express this as y into bracket y square minus 3 square, as 3 times 3 is 9, then plus 6 into bracket y minus 3, then equals to 0 from here. Then, from when we have a square minus b square, equals to a plus b multiplied by a minus b here this follows this pattern then we have y into bracket y plus 3 then into bracket y minus 3 then plus here we have 6 into bracket y minus 3 then equals to 0 from here that is here y minus 3 common and we factor that out we have y minus 3 then into bracket what is left here we have y into bracket y plus 3 then plus 6 close bracket equals to 0 from here now we can open this bracket with y then we have y minus 3 then into bracket y square plus 3y plus 6 equals to 0 from here. Now we have two possible cases here. We have y minus 3 equals to 0. And we have y squared plus 3y plus 6 equals to 0. On this side, y is equals to 3. Then on this side, we have a to be 1, b to be 3, and c to be 6. When we compare this with the other form of quadratic equation, and let's check if this will have a resolution discriminant. Here is b squared minus 4ac. Now, b is 3, that's b squared minus 4 times 1 times 6. 
हैं ये वी हैव थ्री स्क्वायर थ्री टाइम्स थ्री दस में माइनस फोर टाइम्स थ्री थ्री एट दस ट्वेंटी फोर एंड ये वी हैव माइनस फिफ्टीन विच इज लेस देन जीरो सो इट इंप्लाइज दैट वी हैव नो फ्री सॉल्यूशन ऑन दिस साइड देन फॉर दिस साइड वी हैव वाई इक्वल्स टू थ्री then we call that we let y to be equals to 3 raised to power x then it implies that 3 raised to power x equals to 3 which is also 3 raised to power 1 so here these are equal then we can say that x equals to 1 so here we have the solution to this problem as x equals to 1 then we can check from what we have we have 3 raised to power 3x minus 3 raised to power x plus 1 is equals to 18. When we put 1 there, so we have 3 raised to power 3 times 1 minus 3 raised to power 1 plus 1 is equals to 18. This is 3 raised to power 3 then minus 3 raised to power 2 is equals to 18 and here this is 3 times 3 times 3 that's 27 minus 3 square 3 times 3 9 is equals to 18 and here we have this side giving us 18 which is equals to 18 left hand side equals to right hand side and then from here we can conclude that if x is equals to 1 in this given problem and thank you for watching subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell share this video with your thumbs up see you next class and bye for now